in this video we will discuss about one of the important uh, point that happens during the injury during the injury we see uh, most of us have experienced that there is inflammation at the site of injury and the main or the one of the reason for that inflammation is that the is the addition of uh, nucleus uh, leukocytes addition of the leukocytes at the site of injury and in this video we will discuss how this happens at the site of injury so uh, at the site of the injury whenever uh, the injuries occurs near the endo uh, endothelial cells near the site of the injury express uh, these receptors and these uh, receptors that can uh, bind uh, p selectin e e selectin and l selectin so each selectin has a different role uh, p selectin uh, p selectin that is usually that is usually expressed on the uh, leukocytes that is white blood cells is uh, binds to the receptor is binds to the uh, receptors that are expressed on the epithelial cells near the site of the injury and uh, one of these uh, p receptors is psg l1 so psg l1 binds to the receptors of the endothelial cells at the site of the injury what this turn is this will uh, tether or tether the leukocytes that are moving at a very uh, high flow rate along with the uh, blood in the blood vessels and then after t3 it needs to uh, the speed of the uh, leukocytes needs to further slow down and that does with the help of e selectins and there are uh, two ligands that mainly plays a role in e selectin one is uh, ESL1 another one is CD44 or this ESL1 does is ESL1 uh, makes the leukocytes or uh, change the leukocytes from tethering states to rolling states and the CD44 controls the rolling speed that is it, it reduces the rolling speed after that the L selectin's roles comes into play L selectin helps in extra uh, vacation uh, uh, vacation so what happens in extra vacation uh, in extra vacation this your uh, leukocytes will uh, leukocytes will uh, penetrate within the endothelial cells and then move at the site of the injury to uh, perform <coughs> its function uh, that is to damage any uh, pathogens or and starts repairing the starts repairing the site of injury and uh, there are other uh, ligands also that plays the role however these three uh, selectins are important and their roles has been widely uh, studied and widely studied and among uh, widely studied for a long pe period of time so however uh, sometime what happens is this process uh, can be uh, used by cancer cells for metastasis how it is done is in cancer cells there is no l selectin however uh, the p selectin and e selectins are present so and the function of l selectin will be done by other ligands that are uh, present in the cancerous cells as it has been shown in some of the uh, studies uh, or some of the research that other uh, other ligands that are present uh, that are formed in the cancer cells can uh, replace the role of l selectin and in cancer cells we know that cd44 is the uh, cd44 is the signature or is present in most of the ligands and cd44 plays a role of reducing the the uh, rolling speed so that uh, it gives more opportunity to the uh, 
uh, or it gives or it makes a favorable situation for the other league ends to perform this extra uh, vacation so this will lead to spread of the tumor especially at the site of injury so that will uh, further exaggerate uh, uh, aggravated or it will further aggravate the situation for the host or the patient as tumors will continue to spread at the site of injury uh, which is uh, which is the weakest or uh, weakest uh, point of body for the patient at that point of time so that's all for this video thank you for your time